Hello, my name is Nilanjan Chakraborty. Today I am going to talk about our paper, Algorithm for Multi-Robot Chance Constrained Generalized Assignment Problem with Stochastic Resource Consumption. This is joint work with my student, Fan Yang. There are certain classes of multi-robot task allocation problems that can be modeled as generalized assignment problems. For example, consider the scenario shown in the figure. There is a collection of packages of different weights and sizes that have to be moved from a central store to some unloading stations by a set of robots. The robots are heterogeneous in their capability to carry packages. The suitability of a robot to a particular package or task is encoded as a payoff value for a robot task pair. Each robot consumes some energy or resource to move a package from the store to its destination and can move one package at a time. Each robot has a limited battery life or energy capacity. Our goal is to assign the robots to packages or tasks such that the overall team payoff is maximized and the robots do not run out of charge. This problem can be mathematically modeled as a generalized assignment problem, which is an integer linear program. So let's look at the notation first. Let Aij be the payoff of robot i for task j, Wij be the energy consumed by robot i to do task j, and capital Wi be the energy holding capacity or the battery life for the robot Ri. Then the integer programming formulation of the generalized assignment problem is as follows. We want to maximize the team payoff such that the resource constraint for each robot is satisfied and each task is assigned to at most one robot. Here xij is an integer variable which is 1 if robot i is assigned to task j and 0 otherwise. The generalized assignment problem is a NP-hard problem. There are approximation algorithms, both centralized and decentralized, that can solve the generalized assignment problem with approximation ratio of 1 plus alpha, where alpha is a constant which we will define later. What this implies is that the ratio of the optimal solution to the approximate solution is less than or equal to 1 plus alpha. Note that apart from the scenario discussed here, GAP can also be used to model scenarios that arise in package transfer with quad rotors or even in environmental sensing problems. In the classical formulation of generalized assignment problem, it is assumed that the energy consumed to perform a particular task is deterministic. However, in practice, the resource consumption is a stochastic variable and it depends upon unmodeled environmental variables. For example, for a quad rotor carrying a package, the wind speed can affect the energy consumption. In these types of settings, it is not possible to ensure that the resource constraints for each robot are satisfied deterministically. So the problem that we considered in the paper is the following. We want to assign robots to packages or tasks such that the overall payoff is maximized and the robots do not run out of charge with high probability. For simplicity, we assume here that the variable wij, which is the resource consumed by robot i to do task j, is a Gaussian random variable with mean mu ij and variance sigma ij square. Note that this assumption is not really required. Our method works for any random variable for which we know the first two moments. Then, in the mathematical formulation, the deterministic constraint here is replaced by this probabilistic constraint, where the probability p is an a priori defined parameter. It can be, say, 0 0.99. We will call this formulation on the left-hand side the chance constraint generalized assignment problem. There is some literature that looks at stochastic generalized assignment problem. In some cases, 
the payoff parameter is assumed to be a stochastic parameter. In some cases, the resource consumption parameter is assumed to be a stochastic parameter. But most of these problems are modeled as two-stage stochastic optimization problem with recourse action. This means that you make the decisions while ignoring uncertainty. Then the uncertain resource consumption variables are revealed and one is allowed to change the assignment based on the realized value of the uncertain variables. However, there is some penalty for changing the decision. The two-stage stochastic optimization problem is not an appropriate model for multi-robot applications because we cannot know the energy consumed before executing the task. The key contribution of this paper is to present an algorithm for solving chance constraint generalized assignment problem with constant factor approximation guarantee. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first algorithm with constant factor approximation guarantee for CCGAP. In particular, we developed an algorithm for solving CC gap by solving a sequence of chance constraint knapsack problems. Each robot can solve its own chance constraint knapsack problem by solving a sequence of deterministic knapsack problems. This was shown in our previous work. Furthermore, the solution of the chance constraint knapsack problem has the same approximation ratio as the deterministic knapsack problem. We also proved that our algorithm for solving chance constrained generalized assignment problem is 1 plus alpha approximate when we use an alpha approximation algorithm for solving the deterministic knapsack problem. This guarantee is the same as that of the deterministic generalized assignment problem. If we use a subroutine for solving the deterministic knapsack problem, which gives an optimal solution, then our approximation algorithm is within a factor of two of the optimal solution. The practical implication of this fact is that we can get a solution with reliable and guaranteed team performance while ensuring that none of the robots run out of fuel with high probability. And this result is irrespective of the realization of the random resource consumptions. To solve the chance constraint generalized assignment problem, we first study a subproblem called the chance constraint knapsack problem or CCNAP in short. The chance constraint knapsack problem arises if we consider only one robot in the robot team. Let K be the index of the robot. In the chance constraint knapsack problem, we want to assign a set of tasks to the robot such that the total payoff of the robot is maximized while ensuring that its fuel constraint is satisfied with high probability p. The chance constraint in the form written here is inconvenient mathematically. However, assuming that the WKJs are independent random variables, we can rewrite the chance constraint as shown here. Here, c is a constant which depends upon the probability p. The integer program formed by replacing the chance constraint with the expression shown here is no longer a linear integer program. It becomes a quadratic integer program, which is difficult to solve in general. We propose to solve the chance constraint knapsack problem by solving a sequence of integer linear programs known as the risk covers knapsack problem or RANAP in short. The difference between the risk covers knapsack problem and the chance constraint knapsack problem is the parameter c here is replaced by the parameter lambda and wk is replaced by some w prime. Note that solving the risk covers knapsack problem is same as solving a deterministic knapsack problem with wkj equals to mu kj plus lambda kj square and capacity w prime. The parameter lambda is known as the risk aversion parameter. To get an intuition behind our algorithm, let us first look at a geometric view of our problem. For a given set of tasks assigned to a robot K, the total energy consumed is a random variable. That random variable will have a mean and a variance. So the energy consumed can be treated as a point on the variance mean plane. The probabilistic constraint or the chance constraint defines a parabola in the variance mean plane, which is shown by the shaded gray region. 
The linear constraint in the risk covers problem is the triangular shaded region below the straight line shown in the figure. Now, the optimal solution of the chance constraint knapsack problem is the optimal solution of risk covers knapsack problem with appropriate choice of parameters lambda and w prime. And our goal in developing an algorithm is to search for this lambda and w prime. Note that if the optimal solution of a risk covers knapsack problem is located in the feasible region of the chance constraint knapsack problem, then this solution is the optimal solution in the intersection of the two feasible regions Ci and R, and we call this Ri. If we can find a set of solutions with Ri such that the whole region under the parabola can be covered by the union of these Ri's, then we can find the optimal solution. And that will be our strategy to find the optimal solution. Now that we have an idea of how to solve the chance constraint knapsack problem, let us look at the solution for the chance constraint generalized assignment problem. For each robot from i equal to 1 to nr, we will sequentially solve a chance constraint knapsack problem. The chance constraint knapsack problem for robot i will have input mu ij sigma ij square for the distribution of wij, the capacity wi, and p as the input. Furthermore, it will have a modified payoff aij bar which I will define shortly. And the output will be the index of tasks assigned to robot i and we denote it by ji. At the ith iteration, for the tasks that have been assigned to ji, if they have already been assigned to a previous robot, say rk, then we remove those tasks from the task list of robot k. We update our index on the robot. So for the new robot i, we update its payoff as follows. For tasks that are already assigned, we define aij bar equals to aij minus akj, where k is the index of the robot to which task j has already been assigned. And for unassigned tasks, aij bar equals to aij. We go back to step two and we continue till we go through all the robots. In the step three, we are deconflicting the assignments of tasks to robots. So one task cannot be assigned to more than one robot. We prove that the approximation ratio of this algorithm is one plus alpha, where alpha is the approximation ratio of the deterministic knapsack subroutine used for solving chance constraint knapsack. We will now present some simulation results showing the scalability of our approach to the number of robots as well as the number of tasks. Recall that our algorithm for solving CC gap uses CC nap for each robot, and each CC nap is solved by solving a sequence of deterministic knapsack problems. Therefore, we use the number of risk covers knapsack problems as a measure of the efficiency of our algorithm. The number of robots are varied from 10 to 100, and it is shown on the x axis, and the number of knapsack problems solved is shown on the y axis. The total number of tasks is four times the number of robots for this set of simulations. Each data point is computed from 100 randomly generated scenarios with random means and variance of resource consumption. As can be seen from the plot, both the maximum and the average number of risk covers knapsack problem solved grows linearly with the number of robots. We also studied the scalability of our approach with the number of tasks. The number of knapsack problems solved as a function of the number of tasks shows a similar linear pattern. Here, the number of tasks were varied between 200 to 500. The number of robots were taken as 50. In conclusion, we presented a novel algorithm for solving chance constrained generalized assignment problem by solving a sequence of deterministic knapsack problems. We proved that our algorithm has an approximation guarantee of one plus alpha, where alpha is the approximation ratio of solving a deterministic knapsack problem. We also presented simulation results that show that empirically the algorithm scales linearly with the number of tasks and robots. In the future, we would like to develop computational complexity guarantees for the running time of our algorithm. Furthermore, we would also like to incorporate the uncertainty in the payoff parameters and develop a distributed version of the task allocation algorithm.
Thank you. These are the references used in the presentation.